story time with Miss Ellen. That's me. I'm the Programming and Outreach Coordinator at the Canvas Public Library. And thank you for joining us this Wednesday morning. This whole month of April, we are doing storyless story times, which means I'm not going to be reading you a book aloud, but I'm going to be making some recommendations and we're going to be doing some other really fun activities. Let's start off with our alphabet song, our ABC song, just like we did last week. I like to clap or pat my lap along with the letters to help keep the beat, but you can do it however you want. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Today we're going to be talking about and learning about the letter E. The letter E. I have to admit, I'm a little partial to the letter E because Miss Ellen starts with the letter E. F Ellen. And so I have here some toys. I'm going to pull them out one at a time and we're going to learn what they are. And they all, here's the hint, they all start with the letter E. All right, first up, I have an animal that sounds like this. It's an, an elephant, an elephant. Next up, I have something to eat that starts with the letter E. It's a delicious egg. A egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yummy, yummy. Next up, I have a bird. But what kind of bird is it? It's an, ah, ah, an eagle. Eee! Eagle starts with the letter E. Next up, oh, what's this? What do I have here? It's a picture of an ear. Ear starts with the letter E. Next up, I have a vegetable next. What vegetable starts with the letter E? It's a tiny little eggplant. Eggplant. Eggplants are really yummy. I love them grilled. Eggplant. Good job. All right, next up, I have a tiny little white envelope. A tiny little envelope, which starts with the letter E. Envelope. And then I've got the big E and the little E, the capital, the small E, 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 E. Good job. I've brought a couple of books that I wanna to recommend to you guys that I found in the library. This one is called E is for Evergreen, a Washington alphabet. And we have a whole bunch of these different alphabet books that are great because not only do they have very short little rhymes about different letters of the alphabet, but if you have an older reader and they wanna know more about any of the pages they see, there is more explanatory text about each of these things. So if you're reading to a little child, you could just read the little text. And if you're reading to an older child, you can read the big text. And since E is our letter of the day, E is for Evergreen, a Washington alphabet. Thought I thought it was a really good book for today. And then the other book I wanted to recommend to you is a book called Eggs and Chicks. Look at, there's the E that we've been talking about, E for eggs. And this is one of the books that's a nonfiction book for little kids. It has a red E on the spine. Ooh, there's our letter of the day again. Anytime you're in the nonfiction collection of the children's room and you see a red E sticker, that means it's easy to read aloud and it's really good for small children. Big text, lots of pictures. So look for those red E stickers when you're in the children's nonfiction room. All right, let's start off with a little bit of patty cake. And this is one of my favorites because you can do versions that are good for babies or toddlers or preschoolers. Um, for this version, we're gonna do like the solitaire version where we're just tapping our laps and clapping our hands like this. But if you have older kids at home, you can actually do the patty cake like this as well, whatever works. So get our little hands ready, here we go. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. 
Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and throw it in the oven for baby and me. Next, we're gonna be working on our shapes and colors. This is one of my favorite things to do. Shapes and colors are so important for early literacy for little kids as they're moving into preschool and kindergarten. So I've got my flashcards here. First up, what's the color? What's the color? Purple. What's the shape? It's a circle. It's a purple circle. Next up, what's the color? The color is green. What's the shape? It's an oval, an oval. It's pretty similar to a circle, but it's tall and skinny, isn't it? This is a green oval. Next up, what's the color? The color is orange. Orange, and what's the shape? A heart. It's an orange heart. And our last one, what color is it? What color, what color? It's red. It's red, what's the shape? A star. It's a red star. Good job. Continuing with our color practice, next we're gonna be doing our rainbow song. So I have my rainbow here. I'm gonna be pointing to the colors as we sing it. And if you know the song, you can sing along, but we'll do it a couple of times if this song is new to you. Here we go. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple makes the rainbow bright, bright, bright. All right, let's do it one more time just so we can get that good repetition and practice in. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple makes the rainbow bright, bright, bright. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us for Miss Ellen's Storytime. Don't forget to subscribe to the Canvas Public Library channel. And if you click show more down below, we have a whole list of book recommendations and other read alouds and activities that you might enjoy to do with your child. So thanks again. See you next week on Wednesday. Goodbye.